these things are strong. Man, we're removing invasive green iguanas. We're removing them, yes ma'am. Because they're invasive species and they're taking over the state of Florida. Just got a call from a client. There is a big Godzilla iguana lurking around the complex. My client calls it a Godzilla iguana because he's not afraid of nobody. And he's big and he's like black and green. He's got big yellow beady eyes. Right now he's back there. I'm gonna go straight over there. Due to the nature of this video, viewer discretion is advised. We're gonna be showing you guys a lot of iguana hunting with air rifles. We gotta go right now and try to catch this Godzilla iguana. Like, comment, please subscribe if you're new. We'll see you there. Right, check it out, y'all. We're back over here. Look across the canal right there. There goes that Godzilla iguana. He was right over here next to this mango tree. And for some reason or another, he swam across the lake and there he is. That's gotta be him. That's the only giant iguana out here. We do got this air rifle. I would like to see if I can get a little bit closer on him. Maybe go around this side before I try to put him in the bag. You think he's the other one that escaped from you? The other one that escaped? The one that's super smart? I don't know. The one that's super smart is a, is a red iguana. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. like a Charizard. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's a completely different iguana, I think. Unless he turned into a Godzilla over there. Honestly, I don't know what these things are capable of doing, but we're gonna go ahead and lock in this air rifle. You guys follow me real quick. We're gonna go around here. We're gonna try to get him down over there by the canal, and then that's where we're gonna be able to take him. Okay, he's right over here on the other side of this tree. We're gonna use this tree to brace us. Got him! Got him! Got him! One hit! One hit! Oh my god! That smacked him right in the sweet spot. Ooh! Boys and girls, I think it's lights out for Godzilla. We're gonna go up to him real quick. Oh! Night, night. Yeah, buddy! Let's go! <laughs> Got him in the bag. Yes, sir. And guys, that is my client right there. She's the one that was telling me about him right here. Look, there he is, guys. Super humane. These things are strong. Man, we're removing invasive green iguanas. We're removing them, yes, ma'am. Because they're invasive species and they're taking over the state of Florida. They're huge. Look at the size of them. Look at the size of this. Gosh, this is, guys, talk about how awkward this is, right? We're, we're removing the iguanas. We have a friend right here. She's concerned. She does love animals. And I understand that, guys. We love animals as well. But, ma'am, if you want, you could do some research and you could kind of see why they want them gone. I respect that. I respect that, too, because I love animals, too. But if these guys are here, the native animals are going to be gone because they eat all the native plants. So if they eat all the plants, there's not going to be no bees. There's not going to be no native fruits. I, I, like you said, I, I, I know it. I, I, you're right with that. But I still don't agree with that. I understand. I respect that. I'm happy you're talking to me. And I'm happy you're asking questions. And you're, not, you're not angry at me. See? So this is actually a, a, a good case. Hey, I don't blame you. 200 right here. Yeah, we were. Yeah, there was 200 right over here in this little area. Right? Yes, the the females they can have up to 60 eggs. One female. Eggs? How often? Uh, one at least once a year, but sometimes two times a year. Yeah. And then how, when can they have babies? When they're three. Three years old. Yeah, but these big ones, at least we don't waste them. We're gonna eat them, you know. We're hunting them and we're gonna eat them. All these giant ones, yeah. They're good food. It tastes like chicken. Okay. But if you go on YouTube and you look up the iguana man, you can learn more about iguana hunting in Florida. You need iguana man? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, see if you have any if yeah, if the iguanas are scaring your cats, just give me a call. Yes, ma'am. Pretty interesting okay, thank you for the chat. You're welcome, man. You have a good day. 
sweet. I mean, usually I get people yelling at me, cursing at me, or angry, but you know, this lady was generally curious about the iguana, so we were able to educate her, get her in the back. Couldn't have been in a more vulnerable time. Hey, thanks for having my back. My client has my back. They love me out here, y'all. Anyways, guys, we got big. We got the Godzilla. We got him right there. We're gonna throw him in the cooler, throw him on ice. And we're gonna definitely do a cookout. Comment down below some recipes you guys wanna see us do with Godzilla. Straight ahead in that in that nook right there. Got him. There he is. We'll let him go on land so we can mark him. We're gonna let him go on land, y'all. Once he's on land, then we'll be able to kill him on land instead of him uh, going to the bottom doing a Titanic right there. He's really hurt though. So we'll let him go on land for a little bit. All right, I think he's good right there. There he is. These things are really strong, guys. They're eating 22s, y'all. And look, he still is able to catch himself, come up. This is gonna put him out right here. 10 round clip magazine, super simple. Uh, I love the gamma. I, used, I was used to shooting like a single shot uh, break barrel. And nothing wrong with it, y'all, but this is just way faster, y'all. You're just... Whoosh, Way more on point with things. You snap it right here in this thing, break the barrel. All right, now we're ready to go. I'm about to shoot. Oh, that's it. That's it, that's it. So the iguana that we had got, he's right over here. We're gonna see if we can grab him real quick. Check it out. Dang. Look at that. Look, look, at, look at the placements of the shots. Boom. 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 Yeah, so we're using hollow tip bullets. So basically, uh, when the shot goes inside the iguana, it causes massive hemorrhaging damage internally. That's gonna be the quickest result for a kill, right? Use hollow tips. Don't use any of those fancy, fancy ones. It's just more of a novelty, and it's more or less just a waste of time. You wanna get the job done? Use hollow points. We're actually gonna roll some clips of some other kills that we got over here. The main point of this video was to show you guys the interaction with us getting the iguana, having the animal lover intervene. Let me know in the comments down below how you think the whole situation played out. You guys enjoyed the rest of this footage. Look, look, bro. Look at that. Yeah. Sweet spot. Got him again. While he was moving, you saw that? Got him again. Just get as many as you can towards the head. Oh, oh, dude. Nice oh, shot. oh my God. Nice oh my God. Is that out of Oh hand? my God. Dude. Just putting in the work, getting these iguanas in the bag. That's a giant, bro. the shot placement we love doing this oh yeah look at that right there here so real quick we're over here hunting iguanas with the air rifle as you guys can see we got one right here here he's bringing me some more ammo because i ran out there's a giant right now that i'm stalking and need the ammo bro sure, Oh, that's it. That's it. Night, night. Night, night. You see him? Yeah. Oh, no. He's trying so hard. He is. He's back over there. He got a better angle on him. His head is poking out, so this is going to be the opportunity right here. Oh. He's going back on the other side of the tree. Oh my god. You got him? I think he's dead. Yeah, he's there. He's there. We got him. 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh ho, 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 my god. Wow. Oh yeah, he died, bro. Yeah, buddy. Got him in the back. Gracious. Look at the size of this iguana. That thing is a monster. I think it's almost bigger than a Tegu boy. Nonetheless, guys, we got him in the back. All thanks to our air rifle, our Gamo Whisper Swarm 22. Put him in the back. Night, night, baby.